I think this tour is uh, the first, I mean, I, I believe it's the first time they've done a full U.S. tour. You know, I think, I think that this tour is, is really, the, you know, like the first big step in, in these guys sort of finding like a, a, like a significantly bigger audience. You know, they're on tour with Clap Your Hands Say Yeah, who are, who have been selling quite a few records, and I think that the excitement level for these shows, you know, we're, um, we're selling out all the shows. And we, we asked them if they wanted to join us on this tour, and, and then, in, you know, I guess a, a, about a month later, um, their, their record just exploded. Um, so, uh, and they, so they're in a spot where they're more well-known than we are, um, and they're opening for us for a month. Um, so both, both bands are aware of the, how awkward that is. Actually, let's see what they say about the national. Sorry. <laughs> Here in New York, and my guest is singer-songwriter Alec Ownsworth of the band. Clap your hands, say yeah. Alec, congratulations on all your success so far, and we'll look to hear more from you in the future. Thank you very much. You're listening to Soundcheck. <laughs> coming back to do the encore and they went up all on stage thinking of, and I was just gone um, I kind of left them out hanging there and um, and I know that and I apologize and it was it was the wrong thing to do and that that's 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 an example but they weren't they didn't give me a hard time about it and they should have they could have so I think we we've we're good with each other in that way we let each other be assholes occasionally um, Or at least they let me be an asshole, which I appreciate. I think, you know, I think those guys want to, um, you know, they want to succeed, and I think that, you know, they're a little bit older, so I think they have um, concerns that younger bands don't have. You know, they own houses, they, uh, you know, they realize that music for them is the most important thing in their lives, and that, you know, all their decisions now are based on very adult sort of thoughts about, about where they're going and, and what it's going to take to actually get you know, to get there and to be successful and to be able to make a living doing music and not have to go back to their day jobs. Because the band is older than a lot of other bands who are just starting out right now, it gives them a sense of focus. They really feel like the clock is ticking on them and they need to make this happen. I think that now that they're aware that they've got a lot of upward momentum, I don't think they're going to squander that. <laughs> 